Hello, music fans of the internet. We are last week's album. I'm Kevin. I'm Derek. And we're back again this week with another album review. We'll kick things off like we always do. Drinking a beer. Cheers, Kevin. Cheers, Derek, and everyone at home. All right, let's get right into it. This week, we are reviewing an album called Bass Drum of Death by a band called Bass Drum of Death. Um, they are from Oxford, Mississippi. They being a little bit generous because Bass Drum of Death is basically John Barrett. He's a one-man recording machine. When he goes on the road, he brings on along some buddies, but mainly it's him writing and recording. Uh, this is their second, or his second LP. Um, the first one was called GB City, and this one is self-titled. It was written, recorded, performed, and mixed by John Barrett. It was not mastered, literally, by John Barrett, but we'll see if it was mastered figuratively. There's your table wordplay already. So, let's move on to Sounds Like. Derek, what do you have for Sounds Like? Uh, Kevin, I have bass drum of death. Sounds like highly caffeinated black keys chased with a shot of warm, cheap whiskey. Yep, yep, I could definitely hear that. They were actually on um, Black Keys' label, Fat Possum, for their first album, but they are no longer. Now they're on Innovative Leisure. Anyway, to me, they sound like garage rock with as much bite as it has bark. So... Let's go into key tracks. Derek, what do you have? Uh, I, my key tracks are Shattered Me, No Demons, and Crawling After You. Ah, those are three good ones. I also have Shattered Me. And then I have Such a Bore and You'll Never Be So Wrong. But why don't you kick us off with Shattered Me, Derek? Uh, Shattered Me is a song about a troubled relationship featuring steady bass snare drums, hard-charging electric guitars, and some affected vocals, which is kind of a, a common theme for bass drum of death. Uh, there was a really cool dueling guitar riff going on uh, after the verses that I thought was really cool. Uh, just a really good high-energy song that really captured my attention. What did you think, Kevin? Um, yeah, I would agree with those things. I really love the um, just the overall sound. Um, having listened to them a lot from GB City to here, this is still the same bass from a death, but here in 2013, um, it's raw as ever, catchy as ever, um, but with, a, I would say, a lot more thought, actually, behind lyrics and song structure, and that's evident right here on Shattered Me. Um, you mentioned the dueling guitars. I, it almost sounded like chip-tuned to me um, on the guitar solo, but, um, yeah, other than that, you you about covered it there. There all, There's also a really good line in this one that I liked. I think it's the last line. I don't know what you want, and if I did, I'd try to stay. Um, but as you mentioned, it's about relationships. Um, all right, kick us off with your next key track, Derek. Uh, I had no demons. This one was a change in pace and where it's really upbeat, flurry of pounding drums and guitars, and then kicks into an icy, cool, bluesy guitar riff. Once again, kind of that highly caffeinated black keys sound I was describing earlier. The chorus had a very catchy vocal melody. Uh, he kind of repeated that's what I say. It's awesome, very catchy. Uh, and once again, it kind of harkens back to what you were saying about kind of putting together more thought or uh, just building it uh, more so than previous album. But uh, I thought this one, he really hit it out of the park. Yeah, um, I enjoyed that one as well. But my second key track is Such a Bore. Um, and I picked it because it's a bit of a change of pace for Bass Drum of Death, as is this whole album. Um, I mentioned he puts more thought into lyrics and song structure. It's a lot less straightforward pop hooks and a little bit more experimentation. Um, and this song is a good example of that. It's almost got this surf rock, psychedelic um, vibe to it. Starts off very surf garage, picked guitar. I think it's the first time I've ever heard him pick a guitar, unless he's soloing. Um, it's usually just straight up chord riffing. And then it shifts gears completely to this fast, mean, psychedelic. And then it goes back to the surf rock, and then back to the psychedelic. And I just, I don't know, it um, makes you think, and it keeps you guessing, and it just puts together a really good mix of two different sounds in a really nice package. So, yeah. What about your next key track, Derek? 
crawling after you. Once again, kind of the theme of uh, troubled relationships and whatnot. Uh, this one, once again, has a high energy, uh, this time kind of a bouncy guitar riff opening up with a more bass, snare, drum beats. Uh, the verse uh, kind of breaks down a little bit and he, a little more stripped down sound as it's just the bass and drums uh, really allowing the vocals to stand out, which is a little bit of a change of pace for uh, bass drum of death. And there were some backing vocals, kind of a, a, a few ah-ahs in a call and response pattern uh, in the second, uh, uh, later on in the song. Once again, the chorus, incredibly catchy, uh, a little more upbeat after the stripped down verse. Uh, and the lyrics, once again, talking about, uh, you know, girl that kicks him out uh, in, you know, some very clever ways. Yeah, uh, that is another great one. However, I'm going with You'll Never Be So Wrong, um, mainly because it is the last song on the album, and it is not your typical last song. Uh, usually bands wind things down or go acoustic or do some sort of light let you down easy closing and bass drum of death does the complete opposite here, which I loved. Um, it, it starts rip roaring right from the start with this just battery of the drums and then a prominent bass line, which is a little bit different for bass drum of death. Um, some revving guitars and then some extra touches, uh, descending piano spurts. I think it's the first time I've heard them use pianos and then some fun falsetto backing vocals that he does a lot and he does it really well here. Then there's this call and response, guitar versus drums hook that's just headbanging um really really strong and again you know at the end it just shifts into high gear and goes even harder for the very um last kick-ass ending so strong work bass drum of death um all right that brings us to best lyric what do you got Derek? You know, that was a great segue because my best lyric comes from like one of the last lines of you'll never be so wrong uh, too drunk to dream, I'll stay down I-5, I speed, too rich to be in need. Just uh, really kind of summarize it with that kick-ass ending you were just describing. Yeah, um, and speaking of drunk, my best lyric is also about that. Uh, but it is from Crawling After You, and it goes, And when things are not the same, too far down in my brain, toss my drinks into the sky, and I'm face down in my mind. Just kind of a trippy... Um, visceral thought there that is summed up well in words. So, overall rating. Derek, what do you got? I'm giving it a four out of five. This was a solid effort, really high energy, kick-ass rock and roll going on. I really enjoyed it. Uh, it showed uh, significant progress from his first album, and I always love it when bands do self-titled albums when it's not their first album. So, kudos. Four out of five. Yeah, um, usually it is some sort of statement, and I'm assuming it's the same here, that you know he feels like he's found his sound, and I would completely agree. Um, like you said, a lot of progress. It's a lot more thought um, just behind the whole thing, and thoughtful garage rock just sounds like an oxymoron, but it's definitely true here. Um, and it's just much more dimensional and mature than GB City was. It's less sex and more love, uh, less substance abuse, more substance, if you will, and just rock solid from start to finish, especially considering that he does all this, um, at least recording, by himself and writing. is just kick-ass for a one-man show. So five out of five is what I'm giving it. Um, and there you have it, guys. Another review from last week's album, Bass Drum of Death by Bass Drum of Death. Um, we will see you next week. I am Kevin. I'm Derek. And we are last week's album talking about good music. Don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you next time.